25th at the City Council meeting at 6.30 at City Hall. And I've seen many of you here there at the last few meetings in the last couple, you know, the last month or so, uh, pushing for that resolution to be passed and to be introduced in the first place. Um, but fortunately, they have made a number of very significant changes to the resolution that was proposed by our local activists. Which, to reiterate again, it was already full of so many compromises that it's already been looked at by a wide variety of community members. Um, some of these essential changes include the inclusion of the words Hamas terrorist, Hamas terrorist, instead of what we had Hamas terrorist. But Hamas terrorist, they're using the word terrorist in a message that is supposed to be a ceasefire resolution for the people of God. No Second big change that is attributing the 30,000 Palestinian deaths to hostilities between Israel and Hamas. Does that represent what's going on? Is this hostilities between Israel and Hamas? No, oh, it's genocide! They've also removed an entire section stating that the enemy is not justified to suffer the suffering of Palestinians by Israel. So they're only asking for a uh, public now. General public, what does that mean? It means Israelis detained by Hamas and not the other way around. So those couple changes and some others, I really encourage you guys to read those resolutions, both of them, kind of compare them, examine that critically. Um, I'm not saying don't show up to me, don't support it. Make your own decisions. I really suggest that you do read those. So you don't show up to the meeting and you have your thoughts heard. Um, if you sign up like early in the day on Tuesday, you can get the first uh, public comment. And if you just don't see you always get the public comment to that. And it was always important there, regardless of where you stand on this. Um, and I will pass it on.
However, since then, as uh, was already discussed, city council members have revised it in ways that we are not satisfied with, including changing the language around Israel's killing of Palestinians to reduce the blame placed on genocidal Israel. We pushed back on these changes and were told that the council was unable or unwilling to change them. However, despite these changes and our opposition to them, we believe that the resolution still calls for a permanent ceasefire and the end of unconditional U.S. military aid to Israel. In the context of the state and the rest of the country, this statement is progress. We ask you to please show up if you are willing and if you are able with signs on Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. at Lancaster City Hall to show your support for the resolution. Critical support, but support nonetheless. This way, despite the changes that were made, helps us to continue to build relationships and make progress for a free Palestine. It also makes our city councilors publicly state their stance on genocide so we know where their values stand and know who we can work with to push more progressive policies here in the city. It is long past due for the city council to condemn Israel for its genocide of the Palestinian people. Time for a ceasefire to be called, and time for our tax dollars to be used to benefit our community, not genocide. Thank you, and see you on Tuesday. We want justice, you say how? We want justice, you say how? End the siege on Gaza now. End the siege on Gaza now. No more money for Israel's crime. No more money for Israel's crime.